All right, it's time for us to start our series about Google Sheets, and this is going to be Google Sheets assignment number one, mostly designed just to kind of get you going with Google Sheets and have you do a little work so you begin to understand how how their how a Google Sheet is laid out and what it does. And maybe some of you have done this before, and maybe you haven't. I never know. All right, let's take a look. I do have or will have a handout uh, on Google Classroom that will lead you through this assignment if you need it. I'm going to do some demonstrating here in a moment. But uh, you're going to be building a blank spreadsheet and you got to you know, get some labels and things in there. I'll show you what that's all about. You're going to have to fill in some numbers. Uh, you're going to have to work with some formulas because um, sheets are all, all about, these Google Sheets are all about working with numbers, making calculations, doing some math. And it's not hard math, but got to do it, okay? And then also we're going to do some formatting, and we'll always, almost always do some formatting on these Google Sheets where you work with fonts and alignment and color and shading and uh, all that kind of thing. All right, well, so let's get started on this first one. Uh, the idea is that we're going to pretend that we're selling some kind of product and we're keeping track of how many we sold uh, you know through a week and I'll show you how I'm going to set mine up now I'm going to use Jimmy John's sandwiches in my demo you wouldn't have to do sandwiches if you want to use fish bait or cupcakes or some uh, different models of shoes uh, that is okay but uh, I'm going to show you an example and you kind of follow my example and build your own sheet you got to have a um, a new Google Sheet. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive. I'll use my new button. I'm going to go to Sheets and I'll go to Blank Spreadsheet. Now you can also, when the assignment is hooked up on Google Drive, you can use that little plus button and create a new Google Sheet from there. And that would be okay too. It's fine. Uh, however you want to do it is okay. Now this is, you know, just quickly the layout of a Google Sheet. It's marked in rows and columns. The rows are numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? The columns are lettered, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, very good. Uh, every box, I'm moving, I'm just using my arrow keys right now as I move this, it's called the cell pointer, and I'm moving the cell pointer around. But every box is called a cell. And for example, right now my cell pointer is sitting on B4 because it's column B and row 4 and so that place has a name. It's B4. It's like playing Battleship, kind of. Um, and you always name them that way. Like if I move my cell pointer over to here, that's in D7. It's always the... It's, that, that would never be called 7D. That's not ever the way it works in a spreadsheet. This is called a spreadsheet, right? Um, so I can move the cell point around with my arrow keys or I can click in a cell and you can also if you would like to like if I float my mouse up here between A and B if I think I want column A to be a little bit wider you can do that you can adjust the width of the columns what you have to do you can't do it like down here uh, in where, where the cells are but if you come up here between like for example right now I'm pointing between C and D and I could make column C a little bit wider if I wanted to you can do the same thing with rows but you have to be over here on the left hand side and like I'm in between two and three and I could pull column two or uh, row two down a little bit and I could make them a little bit wider if I wanted to that that's just uh, that's kind of up to you I don't know if that's terribly necessary but you can do it all right, uh, it's, and it does become kind of necessary in some situations. You would really do want to make a row taller or a column wider. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you need to sometimes you need to adjust. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to do today. I'm just going to start up here in A1, and I'm just going to. This is going to be like a title. I'm, I told you I'm using Jimmy John's as my idea that I'm working with. And so I'm just going to stick that in A1, and then I'm going to just hit my down arrow. And in A2, I'm going to say Freaky Fast, because that's like their uh, slogan, right? So exactly what you put up there, just again, work with me here. Pretend you're, you own a company that's selling something. You have a cupcake shop, or you have a fish bait shop, or you have um, uh, you sell cell phones. I don't know. Make something up, right? I'm going to sell sandwiches. All right, so I'm going to come down now to a few rows. I'll come down to like A7. I just hit my down arrow there, and I'm going to make a list. 
of five different kinds of sandwiches. Now, if you're not doing sandwiches, you're going to need five different kinds of something. Five different cupcakes, five different kinds of fish bait, five different kinds of shoes, five different kinds of cell phones, whatever it is you're selling. All right, so I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to say ham. And all I'm doing here is typing these in and then hitting the down arrow on the keyboard. You don't see my mouse involved because I'm just hitting the down arrow on the keyboard. Ham, turkey, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to put Italian on my list. I'm going to put Cuban on my list. You ever had a Cuban sandwich? They're really good. And then I'm also going to put a club sandwich. Make mine a club sandwich. Lion King. Anybody remember? All right. Now underneath the five sandwiches, uh, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put the words daily. You'll see why in a minute. Daily total. All right. I'm going to do that. Okay. Now, Stick with me here. Next thing, we're building. We're we'll, we're building the sheet right now. So I'm going to go back up here. On mine, it's on A6, and then I'm going to go over to B6. And your your cell references, like the exact cells that you use, don't have to match mine. But what you got to do is watch the kind of thing that I do here and do something similar. All right, we're going to sell things for five days. So I'm going to make them be Monday, and I'll just hit my right arrow, and this can be Tuesday. And we're going to do Wednesday, and we're going to do Thursday, and we're going to do Friday. And then after Friday, and again, do this, and you'll see why in just a minute. Put the word total, except I can't spell total. All right. Now, so so really, you can kind of see how this is shaping up. Again, pretend I'm you're pretending you're a store manager. I'm the store manager of a a Jimmy John's and I'm tracking how many of these different kinds of sandwiches we sold uh, on those days. All right, well, so here's the next thing. Um, and this is just number of sandwiches, it's not money. I'm not talking about how much money did we make. I'm talking about number of sandwiches. All right, so now this is where we make some things up. Let's say that on Monday we sold uh, 25 ham sandwiches and on Tuesday we sold 34 ham sandwiches and then uh, maybe we sold 45 ham sandwiches and then one day we sold 60 ham sandwiches and on Friday we sold and back to 25 ham sandwiches. Now, don't put anything in the total yet. And the reason for that is because we're going to have the computer do that calculating for us and we'll do that here very soon. Um, we're getting there. So it's going to take a minute here, but all you're going to do next is take just plug numbers in for your five products and your five days. Now here's a heads up. Don't don't do this kind of thing. I always have I almost always have somebody who, who thinks this is gonna be just really funny where they like just put in these huge gargantuan numbers and then they go to run their formulas and the computer starts doing scientific notation and stuff like that and they call me over and say, Oh my goodness, I don't know what my computer's doing. Well it, it's it's because you um, you use like gigantic numbers in your spreadsheet so uh, don't do that. Just you know, reasonable numbers. Reasonable numbers here, all right? So pretty quickly here, let me just plug in. And I'm making these up. I'm not even being all that careful about it. I'm just using some double-digit numbers. And I'm just kind of, I'm not really even paying that much attention, to tell you the truth, to what I am uh, popping in here. But we just need some numbers, all right? Oops, moving around the wrong place there. Okay, let's go. All right, and we're on our Cuban sandwich. I do a lot of 25s for some reason, a lot of 41s. Uh, wow, we had a big day on Friday there, didn't we? And the club sandwich. Um, low day there. Okay, and we'll go there and we'll go like there. All right, so I've plugged in numbers, and you're going to have to do that, right? You're going to have five different products. I've got a ham sandwich, a turkey, an Italian, a, a Cuban, and a club. So I've got five products, and I've got five days, and I have plugged in all the sales numbers for those days, and it's how many sandwiches. Again, this does not re represent money. I'm not saying that that's like that cell F11 uh, that I'm on right now is uh, $37. It's 37 sandwiches, all right? Okay, what's the next thing? Well, it is this. We are going to have the computer calculate these totals for us, and this isn't really very hard. If I were managing the restaurant, uh, I would want, 
if I were managing the Jimmy Johns, it would be kind of helpful for me to know, all right, if we take this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, how many of those sandwiches did we sell? All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to come with my mouse and click on Monday and drag over to Friday like that. Click on Monday, drag over to Friday. And then I can I can just tell the the computer or the spreadsheet or whatever you want to, you know, however you want to say that. I can tell the computer to take those numbers right there and add them up for me. I don't have to add them up. It's not that the math is that hard, but I, I, I'm lazy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's not that. All right, so I'm going to come up here. This button on the toolbar up here that um, it looks like it's a Greek letter, and it means like summation. It means to take everything and add it up. So it means sum. I'm going to drop that menu down, and all I want it to do is calculate a sum. You probably know that. When you add up a bunch of numbers, you're calculating the sum, and so that's what I want it to do. I'm just going to say sum, and you'll notice that right over here, on cell right next to Friday it pops up here it's showing a formula this is called a formula here it equals sum b7 colon f7 and there's going to be more about that later and it's even telling me what the answer is right here so all I have to do is press enter and it did it right it did the calculation for me it tells me this adds up to 189 and what it did was take all those numbers and add them up so real quickly let's just do the same thing for each day I'll, I'll select on two on turkey sandwiches. I'll select from Monday down to um, oops, I went one too far. Monday down to Friday. Okay, just click and go from Monday to Friday, and I'll go to that menu and I'll say sum and I'll press enter and whoa bam we told we sold 200 uh, turkey sandwiches. How did our Italian sandwiches do? Let's see. We uh, press enter there 202. Monday to Friday for the Cubans, and we'll go some there. 299 of those, and here's our club sandwich. Some there, and press enter, and 212 of those. Cool. All right, now, the other thing I might be interested in if I were managing the restaurant once again is let's take a look at Monday, right? On Monday, we sold some sandwiches. How many sandwiches did we sell? Well, so you would do a similar thing, except you would click here on the ham and drag down to the club. You would do it that way. Click on the ham, drag down to the club, and then go to, and it would, it, we're just going to calculate a sum again. So on Monday, and it does the same kind of thing. It, it shows that formula equals sum. And it, this is showing you right here. I'm going to use the computer. I talk like the computer all the time. I'm going to use these numbers right here to add this up, and this is where it's coming from. All right, well, that's what I want. I want those five numbers added up. Bingo. 199 on Monday. Let's do the same thing here on all the others. We'll just drag there and boom, and some, and we'll go drag there. And, and if, if anybody's sitting there thinking, well, isn't there a way to kind of copy and paste that? Uh, that's common. There is. And you may know it already. If you know it already, then do it. But uh, I'm just not showing it yet. That's going to come up later. So Friday, some, and some. And then a lot of times when we do this assignment, people ask, do we have to do this last box right here? That's um, kind of up to you. It's not hard, right? If I want a total, 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 right? Uh, I could do it either way. I could add these up right here, and that would give me the grand total for the entire week, or I could go across and do it this way. It would work out the same either way. Doesn't matter, it'd be the same number either way. All right, so I'll just do it like this. I'll just go boom, boom, and press enter, and boom. I sold 1,102 sandwiches in those four, in those five days. Cool. All right. Um, now the only other thing you have to do. This is all done. I, I have built the. I've built the sheet. I organized it by putting these labels in here and put these labels across here. I put the numbers in. This is data. This is just raw data right here. Oops, not all of that is raw data. This is raw data right here where I just plug those numbers in. I just typed them. And then we've got formulas, right? We've got formulas that we put in across here. And we've got formulas that we put in down here. That's what this assignment is. So now I'm going to format it a little bit. I'm going to take uh, like these two. And you can do a lot. This is a lot of the same things you can do with Google Docs. If I take these two cells up here, just select them. I'm going to say, oh, let's do, uh, what shall we do? Let's do like Russo 1 and make it kind of big because it's a, it's that's like a title and if you're not you know if you're not seeing the whole thing remember you can expand out the 
can expand out the column heights and stuff like that if you're not seeing everything that you want to see. And these also, uh, these can be the, the text color. Maybe I want the text to be red. Uh, the fill color, you, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I'll make that text red up there. All right, let's go. I'm going to take all of these and make them like, uh, uh, I'm going to use this Bebas, oh, I don't even know how to say that. Uh, Bebas New. And I'm gonna, you can center things. I'm just, this is just like Google Docs here, right? You got all of these, you got all these controls in there. That's way too small. That text is way too small. We just need that to be bigger. Uh, and one thing you might run into if you do make it bigger is it, you might run into thinking, okay, now I really need to come up here and expand out my column widths a little bit. Remember, you can float in between the letters on the columns and kind of expand those out some if you need to. You got to be kind of careful. You know, you can't just like, well, it's not working because you're not going slow enough and being careful enough. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm getting that, right? And then uh, you can do, th oh gosh, there's so much you can do. I can come along here and select all of that and say, I want to put some borders around it. Cool. And on the borders, uh, I would like for them to be, oh, I think I'm going to go with a black border. I'm pretty happy with a black border. Uh, I like a thicker, a little bit thicker border, All right? Um, and then again, I could select this row up here and say, let's you, let's go bucket full, bucket fill. And man, I'm a fan of blues, shades of blue. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to go um, to my bucket, and I'm going to go a lighter blue, and then I'm going to go back to that darker blue. I'm all I'm doing here is just kind of dragging across. Oops, sorry. I'm dragging across a row with my mouse. Click, drag across, get it selected, and then I'm going to fill that. I, I'm going, my, I kind of like the whole alternating color thing. I don't know if you like it or not. You don't have to do it like me. Don't ever sit there and think you have to do it like me. You don't have to do it like me. I mean, you got you to kind of get the right idea. You got to get the main idea. That's got to be a shade darker. And then this one is that shade no it's not that shade it is I got to pay attention to my shades of blue there we go that's how mine's going right there right so this is done this is done 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 I have created a spreadsheet that is tracking sales of some products for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and ham turkey Italian Cuban and club and I've done formulas that calculated these daily totals and these um, sandwich totals down here and I got a, like a label up here at the top that tell, oh man, look at me go. So if, if you did, like, I would have to come up here and say, untitled spreadsheet, mm, no, nope, don't think so. So let's, uh, I'm gonna say sheets 01 right there, that's good. And then I would be ready to go turn this in. Yay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give that a roll, people, shall we? Let's give it a shot.